Hi there, this is Mary DeMuth on this fifth day of August, and I'm so grateful that you're here today to listen to Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. If you want to help the podcast um, get into the hands of more folks, which is my heart and prayer, not for um, growing numbers, but for the sake of people hearing prayer, uh, you can write a review um, and uh, put that up um, wherever you're listening to this. Uh, you can also send me a testimony. This has been really helpful to me. Um, and also I pass it on to William, the engineer, and to Kristen, who does some of the graphics for this podcast. It's just encouraging for them to know the why of all of this. So I'm going to read one of those testimonies today. Uh, you can send me one by emailing me at mary at marydemuth.com. This person wrote, I'm from Utah. Haven't traveled around the world, sadly. I just want to let you know that your prayers are awesome, and I have really tried to increase my prayer life as well as reading scripture, too. I haven't had an opportunity to donate as of yet, but I plan to become a patron very soon. I can't offer much, but soon I hope to be baptized and to finally be able to pay tithing to a church family I can be a part of. What a blessing that was to read, and just knowing that I have a small little part of someone else's growth really blesses me. Um, and hopefully it blesses you too. So we're in now uh, Acts chapter 16, verses 1 through 13 in the NASB. This is what it says. Paul also came to Derb and Lystra, and a disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. And he was well spoken of by the brethren who were in Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted this man to go with him, and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those parts, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. Now, while they were passing through the cities, they were delivering the decrees which had been decided upon by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem for them to observe. So the churches were being strengthened in the faith and were increasing in number daily. They passed through the, the Phrygian and Galatian region, having been forbidden by the Spirit to speak the word in Asia. And after they came to Mysia, they were trying to go into Bithynia, and the Spirit of Jesus did not permit them. And passing by Mysia, they came down to Troas. A vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man from Ma of Macedonia was standing and appealing to him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go into Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. So putting out to sea from Troas, we ran a straight course to Samothrace on the day following to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia, a Roman colony, and we were staying in the city for some days. And on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate to a riverside, where we were supposing that there would be a place of prayer, and we sat down and began speaking to the women who had assembled. Mind if I pray for you? Lord Jesus, thank you for this story. And wow, it's so rich and so full of so many important things. One of the things is that you are such a guider of those who walk in you. Um, they were warned by your spirit in a dream and they decided to obey and go one place and not go another. And Lord, I pray that for my friend today. Sometimes we just need to know that you help us with our direction in life. You you um, lead us to go to different places and to refrain from going to places or for doing a particular thing or not doing a particular thing. thing. And I know, Lord, we are seeking you for guidance today. We ask you to show us our next steps. We ask you to um, open up opportunities for us to share the gospel even today. Um, Lord, we thank you for the relationship here between Paul and Timothy, and I pray for my friend listening today that they could be a Paul to a Timothy, that they could mentor someone who uh, who needs to be discipled and to understand what it means to walk with you, Jesus. But I also know that the cry of our hearts is often that we are Timothys and we're looking for a Paul. We're looking for someone to mentor and disciple us. So I pray that you would be gracious and send someone into my friend's life today. Lord, um, thank you for the power of the gospel and thank you for the strategy that Paul had. Every time he went to a new place, he went to a synagogue, but in this particular place, 
Um, there was no synagogue, and uh, they went to this place where people gathered instead and where they typically prayed. What a wonderful place to share the gospel and a place where people gather to pray. And so, Lord, as we gather to pray right now, Lord, we pray that you would um, just uh, invigorate us by the gospel, that you lived the perfect life, you died on the cross for our sins, that you rose again conquering death, and now your spirit lives within us and we're part of advancing that kingdom. That's the gospel and we stand on it today and we rejoice in it today. I pray all of these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking right now five minutes and 36 seconds, now 38, um, listening to this podcast because I, um, I know that whenever scripture is read, And whenever folks pray, really great things happen. And that's my heart for you today, that you would experience the great things that God has for you.